हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी In this lecture, let us understand the modulation property of continuous time Fourier transform. Now, let us see this statement. It states that if x of t, for this, if we perform Fourier transform, we'll obtain x of j omega, and y of t, for this, if we perform Fourier transform, we'll obtain y of j omega. Then Let us take z of t, which is equal to x of t into y of t. For this, if we perform Fourier transform, we should obtain z of j omega that can be written as one by two pi into x of j omega convoluted with y of j omega. So let us prove this proof. from the formula of fourier transform we can write x of j omega is equal to integration of minus infinity to infinity x of t exponential to the power of minus j omega t dt and also we can write y of j omega is equal to integration of minus infinity to infinity y of t exponential to the power of minus j omega t dt therefore we can write z of j omega is equal to integration of minus infinity to infinity z of t into exponential to the power of minus j omega t dt in place of z of t let us substitute x of t into y of t therefore we can write z of j omega is equal to integration of minus infinity to infinity x of t into y of t exponential to the power of minus j omega t dt let us call this as the equation number 1 using inverse fourier transform we can write x of t is equal to 1 by 2 pi integration of minus infinity to infinity x of j beta exponential to the power of minus j beta t d beta so in place of omega we have written beta here so let us call this as equation number 2 now let us substitute equation 2 in equation 1 therefore we can write z of j omega is equal to integration of minus infinity to infinity in place of x of t let us write 1 by 2 pi integration of minus infinity to infinity x of j beta into exponential to the power of minus j beta t d beta into y of t into exponential to the power of minus j omega t dt now let us change the order of integration if we change the order of integration we can write z of j omega is equal to 1 by 2 pi integration of minus infinity to infinity first let us write uh, x of j beta then let us write the integration minus infinity to infinity y of t exponential to the power of j omega minus beta t dt into d beta so for this term we can write y of j omega minus beta therefore we can write the above expression as z of j omega is equal to 1 by 2 pi integration of minus infinity to infinity x of j beta into y of j omega minus beta d beta so this term is similar to the formula of convolution therefore we can write z of j omega is equal to 1 by 2 pi into x of j omega convoluted with y of j omega so this is the proof hope you have understood the topic thank you